plaintiff, Kathy Squara, says everyone warned her about dating the defendant, and she regrets not listening to her friends because she soon discovered that he was talking to other women on the internet and had another girlfriend on the side. Kathy is suing her ex for a cell phone bill and a cancellation fee. Defendant Michael Dombrowski admits that he talked to other women online while dating Kathy, but insists he was only looking for friendship and had no intention of cheating on Kathy. Michael claims he only owes for half of the phone bill. Let me hear from you first. Well, what I've learned from this whole situation and from watching your show, Your Honor, is that all women need to listen to their gut and listen to their girlfriends. This man right here. I don't know about that second part. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to your girlfriends, half the yes. time they might be jealous because they don't have anybody. That's true. And try to mess you up so you can be alone with them. <laughs> be careful about that. Uh -oh. Go ahead. <laughs> this man right here, when I had met him, had lost his job. I had to pay for all of our dates. He had no car, so I had to drive. When did you meet him? Uh, May of 2011. All right, and you had to start sponsoring everything? Everything. Um, In the, the beginning? The first date, uh, I had to come pick him up. And after the first date, um, he had lost his job about two days after that. And since then, um, since the breakup, Are I Are you had sure to... he had a job? I <laughs> Actually, I'm not 100% sure with that. Um, this man here um, lives on his parents' couch, has no vehicle. I had to pay, obviously, for all of the dates. And the icing on the cake was that I found out that he was lying to me numerous times and that I believe he had a girlfriend on the side. That is not accurate at all, Your Honor. When did you all break up? Um, the end of September 2011. So it didn't last very long. No, it did not. All right. Um, Despite what my witness here and um, some other people had warned me about, um, I had seen some red flags, but I had ignored them um, because I heard what I wanted to hear from him. I was beautiful. I was sexy. He would love to date me and so forth. Um, I was going through a divorce, and with that... How long had it been? I was not even divorced yet. I was in the process of divorce. Uh, my divorce took about two and a half years. Oh. Um, and it was about two years from when I left my husband. So you were a little vulnerable. I was vulnerable. All right. My girlfriend here, my witness, had warned me that he's a mooch. Let me hear from you then. Let her tell me. <laughs> State your name. Victoria Becerra. What do you want to tell me? Um, I had told my friend Kathy that um, I've known Mr. Dombrowski a lot longer than she has. Um, he was actually going after my friend on Facebook and then saw her and started doing the same things to her, telling her she was pretty, that he really likes her, he wants to date her. And I told her, I said, you're a big girl, but I'm like, he's a mooch. I'm like, from what I've heard from other friends, um, his ex-girlfriend paid for him to go to Florida. She's paid for him to go to concerts, to go out drinking. So I kind of warned her about his situation. Plaintiff Kathy Squara says after she started dating the defendant, she discovered he was talking to other women online and had another girlfriend on the side. All right, and she took a chance, and what happened other than the cell phone bill you're suing for? I had planned a vacation for his birthday, um, and actually my birthday was kind of a duel because we're not that far and what apart. Happened? And um, I tried to contact um, the defendant, and he kept telling me that he was sick. Well, I f went to his home, um, being the good girlfriend I am, with some hot soup. No, I know uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> to, yes. Hot grease or hot soup? <laughs> hot soup. That's right, baby. Hot soup at that's that point. Right. He's um, lying to you. You take that grease over there. You'll get the if truth. If I would have known what I know now, it would have been hot grease. What happened when you went but, there? But um, his parents had approached the door and said, you should, don't you know that he is out of town? Mm. Um, when I um, text him and asked him about that, he said that he was doing some side work to start repayment of the cell phone bill. Um, when I questioned him some more, he had <laughs> admitted to me that he had been working for a woman 
um, which I later found out that I that he was dating. Sometimes that's work. Yeah. Well, true. <laughs> he wasn't lying. True. Let me hear your side, sir. Well, that is that completely inaccurate because I was doing pain, a side job painting for a friend up in Gray's Lake. <laughs> Let's start early when you all got together. She did not pay for every date. I paid for the first date and at least one other time that I know of. She did pay for majority of everything else. Clyde, because you had lost your job? I lost my job a week after, I had two, like two or three days after the first date we had. Okay. Her witness says that you were a mooch from the beginning that other women told her that you were on the internet with other women while you were dating her. What do you want to say about that? On the internet, talking to them, yes, and being nice and being friends, but not trying to cheat on her with any of them. I never cheated on her once. Well, what about that hot grease? Is she, no, not hot, hot <laughs> soup. Uh, hot, hot soup? Perhaps yeah, it should have been grease, but I, did I, was, I, was, I was sick, and yes, I was out of town, but I never said I was home. Okay. I never told her where I was. <laughs> And that's why you all broke up? That, honestly, yeah, really. Okay, let's get to the <laughs> cell phone bill you're suing him about. Tell me how he owes you for that. End of June, beginning of July, um, the defendant had a prepaid cell phone, which was constantly <laughs> off because he would go through the minutes, go through the money. Um, we talked about it briefly, and I agreed that I would add him to my cell phone bill which from watching your show numerous times, I realized that it was a huge mistake. Um, I had gotten a family plan, so with that, it Now, would... when did you believe he would be able to stand on his feet? Um, he was working for a temp agency, and he had stated to me that the temp agency had found him some little jobs on the side and... Um... All right, well, let me just give you a suggestion, because I don't want the women uh, viewing to think that they, ne they shouldn't help their man who's trying to get on his feet. That's mm -hmm. not what I say. Just be cautious. In this case, I would have advised you to get him some throwaway phones for two or three months. All right, go ahead. The defendant had picked out the cell phone that he liked. Of course, it was one of the more expensive mm -hmm. ones. Um, and, you know, with the internet and everything, um, when I had my cell phone plan, I had all the works because I can afford it. I was working at the time. He requested the works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Yes. Whatever they got, get that for me. The max. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, about less than a week after I had agreed to add him to the cell phone bill, I had lost my job. Um, and at that point is when I started asking the defendant for repayment. Um, what did he say? He said that he's working on it and he promises that okay, he will Okay, let's hear me. from him now, sir. Yes, I did agree to that and agree to help her pay with, or at least pay my half, which at the time when I was working. Was the phone for your exclusive use? If she wanted to use it, I would have let her use it. No, but no, I'd... but you kept it. Yeah, I kept it. <laughs> and yes, I was doing side jobs through a temp agency, which I was barely making anything. I was getting maybe one, two days a week at the most and not even So why did you agree to pay some of the bill if you knew you didn't have the money? Because I thought I was going to get good enough hours, good enough work through the temp agency to be able to afford it. It was towards the end of September, I asked her to cancel the phone for me so I could try to figure out Have you paid else. it yet? No. Plaintiff Kathy Squara says after she started dating the defendant, she discovered he was talking to other women online and had another girlfriend on the side. What's your defense today? Honestly, that I really owe half on my part, if that. You only owe half yeah, of what she's doing. For the half that I'm right. seeing in front of me. Ma'am? Here. Yes. It is what I'm suing for Let's today is half. Okay. Um, this is a breakdown. Well, sir, she's only suing you for half, and you say you should only have to pay half. <laughs> <laughs> so there's really no dispute, is it? No. no. All right, what did pay the woman? $512. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why you didn't understand that you owed your half of the cell phone bill and it took you almost a year to pay me back after numerous promises that I'm going to pay you back next week. I'll pay you back when I get my paycheck. And that never came. And I told you before, living with my parents and the rental assistance program they're on, I have to help them pay. 
actually, I canceled it because I found out you were lying and that you're a cheater, so. I never cheated on you once. Yeah. Yes, you did.